love in this building, and the Pistons love him too. The NBA's Defensive Player of the Year, the Worm, Dennis Rodman. guy could play every position. That's the first thing. And he really took pride in shutting people down. He worked so hard on the defensive end and drove opponents crazy because he could guard your five, he could guard your four, he could guard your three, and he could guard guards. And that's the thing that I loved about him. He was so tough, but once he got between those lines, he worked. Des Robbins is a guy who uh, really embraced his role, and um, that was doing whatever he can to really get his team energetic, fired up, um, whether that be offensive rebounds, uh, guarding one of the best players on the other team. But he's, he's somebody that really went out there and embraced doing all the dirty work and, and helping his team, and you know he's a phenomenal player for that. When you can finish off a defensive sequence with a rebound, that's one way to play great defense, but Dennis was an excellent on-ball defender. You know, the, the thing is, you know, Ben Wallace, Andre Drummond, and also Dennis Rodman possess a certain skill. In this NBA, you have to have a certain skill level to be, you know, either on the side, if you're not scoring, you have to do other things to make you, you know, visible. And I think, you know, Dennis Rodman, he was so impressive, and I don't call him Dennis, I call him Worm. Worm was so impressive on the boards that defensively, it was like, okay, he, his challenge and his approach was to stop everybody. And I thought it was just a testament to what he's done as an NBA player in his career to be a Hall of Famer like he is and also to be an all-star. You don't necessarily have to score a lot of points to be an uh, impactful player. Davis pulls it off. Rodman's tap that didn't go is rebound number 34 and is the all-time Pistons single game rebounder. He has just broken Bob Lanier's record. The sign on the board says Dennis Rodman has just set a new Piston record for rebounds in a single game. Worm looked up and read it, and the emotional guy that he is, it brought tears to his eyes. He got to be happy for the hardest working player in the NBA. Dennis Rodman, the new single game Piston rebounder. That's, that, that's a lot of rebounds. That's, uh, that's going to get him. I'm trying to beat that. So I'm coming for you, Dennis, if you're watching this. <laughs> the Worm, the Worm, he, uh, I watch a lot of his tapes and a lot of the stuff I do in my game is from watching him. So, you know, his heart and dedication is how, how much he put into the game. It's, you know, it's, it's amazing. You hardly ever pick your paper up every day and, and they have the leading rebound on the front page of the paper. You know, but he made that, you know, special. He put emphasis on it, he'd go up and slap the ball. And, you know, look around and look for he, he he brought attention to to rebounding you know i think the game you know they owe a lot to dennis for you know making that a, a, a thing that people want to do and there's something about a nickname when you when your coach calls you that it that's it, it it's going to stick your teammates can call you but when the coach says it it's, it's your nickname now for real and i remember chuck daly calling him the worm the worm the worm and he was the worm he could defend with anybody and you could put him on anybody one night we put him on Hakeem Olajuwon and he did an excellent job. So that tells you all you need to know about the worm. Isaiah, trying to find somewhere to go with it. Does to Thorpe inside for Hakeem. Knocked away by Rodman. One day he got hurt. He had a pull hamstring. And this is when we were making our run in 88-89. He came into practice late. We were all in the middle of the court stretching, getting ready to practice. Chuck Daly standing around with his arms folded like we used to call him Daddy Rich. He's standing around. Messing with his hair, that's what he used to do all the time, always playing with his hair. Dennis Rodman walks in, he say, I don't want you to practice today because you still have a little poor hamstring. What I want you to do, go in the locker room and get treatments. So Dennis starts heading towards the locker room. And Chuck say, Dennis, never mind. 
I don't want you to go in the locker room because you go in the locker room, you're going to start lifting weights, you're going to start riding the bike. Just go back home and play your video games. That's how much respect Chuck Daly had for this guy because he gave you 110% in practice and in the game. And he didn't want to waste any time with him getting hurt anymore, so he told him to go home and just take it easy. And that's the thing that I most admire about him. That, that young man, when he first came in the league, his work habits were like off the charts. And to see him do that every year, he has so much pride in what he did. The worm works the glass one more time.